All right, thank you, Thomas. Well, with summer kicking off, it's time to get outside and enjoy Mother Nature up in the mountains. And one place to do that, no better place than Snow Basin Resort in Weber County. So we are joined now with Davey Ratchford. Make sure I get that right. The General Manager of Snow Basin. Thank you for coming in today, Davey. Thanks, we Emily. appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad I'm here. Okay, there is so much. You think that the ski season is all, but that's just not the truth. There's so much more going on even in the summer. Yeah, these mountains in Utah have everything. And it does seem like a still ski season with the snow and right. weather we just had. Yes. But trust me, summer is just around the corner. So for us, it keeps us pretty busy all year round. Okay, tell us a bit of the events that you have coming up throughout the summer. So every Saturday and Sunday through June, July and August, and even into September, we have Saturday and Sundays open up there. Um, we have thousands of people that come up and ride the gondola, go hiking oh, yeah. around, mountain biking. The big thing is Blues, Brews and Barbecue, which is an event on every Sunday. And we have concerts that families come to. It's an amazing event and it's super popular. So that's the big thing that happens up at Snow Basin, along with all the fun activities that we have associated with it. But the concert's huge. The concerts are the big ones. Okay, so tell me too about some of the, um, when, when this all starts, as the warmth continues on, is it already, you said some are already happening, but it's some of the bigger yeah. events, when does so that happen? Yeah, so June begin? 18th is the, okay. the first weekend that we're open for summer. And then June 19th is the first Blues, Brews and Barbecue with the Chris Lager Band. And, and, it, it, and then we have Andy Frasco on oh July 24th. So it's a fun time. It's, Families are welcome. We have thousands of people that show up and uh, it's great barbecue, great entertainment. It's beautiful out up in the mountains. Is this something you have to be way ahead of time, like scheduling and getting reservations and things? Is so it yeah, great question. So what's different this year is with everything being the way it is, this yes. is the first time we've ever charged for admission to it. It's always been free. It's still very nominal. It's $10 a person. Or if you're oh, a yeah. season pass holder, if you're premier, if you're season pass holder Snow Basin, it's free, which is great. <laughs> Um, and you can buy a season pass, $75 for all the concerts throughout the summer. So it's, we kept it really uh, nominal, affordable. affordable. Yes. That's the big thing. It was to try to keep it free was almost impossible with right. what we have going on right now with we're, we're, we're paying people amazingly well and everything's just a little That's bit challenging. That's what I was about to say. There's probably a reason behind the charge. If you want to explain that to the public, oh, yeah. I'm sure they're going to be understanding it's, to that. It's, frankly, it's either the event cannot happen um, or we charge a, a fee to try to come in. The good thing about it, the communities that we serve up there, we actually are giving a part of our proceeds to them, to mm -hmm. these amazing nonprofits, the Gold Foundation, uh, which is fantastic up in Weber County, and then Ogden Valley Land Trust, which secures great land opportunities for people up there. So we, we're trying to give back at the same time, trying to just keep the event going. and. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a fantastic event, very, very popular, and we try to keep it as affordable as we can. Well, I think $10, people can say, oh yeah, I'm helping out the bigger cause to keep this going. Yeah. We can fork out $10. And it's free for our season pass holders, which we have many season pass holders. Let's talk about season pass holders. This is one of the perks. Are there any other perks you want to touch on so that people are considering, do I get a season pass or not next year? Here well, it is. season passes, in any, if you're skiing in anywhere in the state of Utah, buy a season pass. It's always the most affordable way at any of the great resorts that we have in Utah. For the summer perks, it gets you access to our gondolas and you can mm -hmm. go hiking around and have a great time up there and free access with a premier pass to Blues and Brews and Barbecue. Um, other perks, it, it just makes you awesome. It, <laughs> uh, if you have a season pass, you pretty much are awesome. Okay, you just made the awesome less. That's yeah. all it takes. Okay, so the on-mountain dining options available. What types of food is there? It's amazing food. So uh, one of the things, we're, we, we won best food, well, number three, I should say, we didn't win. Number three in You're all in the, the nation. Three. We're in the top deal. three of That's all ski deal. resorts in America. So our food is really, really good. And mm -hmm. our barbecue for Blues and Brews and Barbecue are just, is really great. Uh, but on Saturdays and Sundays, at, you can have lunch at the top of the mountain. And then on Sundays, we have a brunch. So if you really so want to cool. go wild and have a lot of food and enjoy the views, you can have brunch with us on Sundays. Okay, this is just so exciting. Tell us then where people can go for more information, where they get tickets, where they can see the schedule to see which weekends they want to make it up there. Yeah, to and to look at that concert schedule yes. so you can plan out your, your summer. So snowbasin.com is the best way. And then any of our social channels will have all of it, but snowbasin.com is still probably the best. Okay, thank you so much for your time here today, yeah. Davey. We feel your energy for it all and how exciting it is. And I think it's contagious. So thanks, thanks again for Emily. your time.